The exhibition has been divided into different sections related to geographic area and artistic tradition and also food traditions. In Estrada was like a formal sitting room, like in our day we think of where somebody would take tea in the afternoon. But the Estrado is where in the Americas one would drink chocolate. Um, chocolate was the dominant drink even in New Mexico up until the territorial period when the U.S. took over New Mexico. That's when coffee and tea really started replacing chocolate. So this object is a mancerina. Um, what I was um, mentioning as being the chocolate saucer. The mancerina is an item that um, was developed during the colonial period, the Spanish colonial period. It was developed in Peru and then it spread throughout the Americas and back to Spain and it was used in every well-to-do or upper middle class household. And what it is, is a saucer with a fixed ring around the center here and your chocolate cup would fit right into the saucer like this. And because originally chocolate during the colonial period was really, um, really drinking a lot in the fine courts, the royal courts, um, you can picture all these ladies in their silks and taffetas and drinking chocolate and you would not want to spill your drink on your finery. And there's also a legend that says the Viceroy of Peru um, you know, had a condition where he was shaking like Parkinson's and he didn't want to embarrass himself by spilling his chocolate. So those are the two, um, you know, they're not certified true histories. They're the legends that people talk about. However, um, the Mansarina was named after him, Mansaris, um, Mansarina. It was developed by him. And this is one that was made in Spain, in Alcora, Spain. And we have several others in the collection. Again, I was able to purchase a beautiful Spanish-made Mansarina. And we also have a silver Mansarina that was made in Mexico in the 18th century. So um, in our chocolate section of the exhibit, we have these Mansarinas on display. And the fun thing with the exhibit is there's something related to chocolate in each home and kitchen. So the Spanish home will have a chocolate pot. The Mexican kitchen also has a chocolate pot and the Molinillo. And the New Mexican hearth also has a chocolate pot. So um, during the colonial period, again, the chocolate pot was developed. The really fine homes had chocolate pots out of silver. Um, there are ceramic chocolate pots out there that exist. And then the everyday traditional copper pot, which looks like a small pitcher to us, but these are what were used for chocolate. This one was found here in New Mexico. We know it was used here. And this is also a molinillo that was found in New Mexico, although this molinillo does not fit this pot, but just to show a sampling of what these are. Molinillos have been found, they're still used today in Mexico for whisking chocolate, but these were colonial developments prior to the Spanish arriving. You didn't whisk your chocolate with a molinillo. Um, there are ceramic jars from the Mayan period onward and also we have some jars in Chaco Canyon that are very similar that chocolate was a tall cylindrical jar and you poured it from really high over and over and over to get the frothing effect that was the most desired effect kind of today when we want a really nice latte that foam has to be perfect on top so um, the Spanish developed the Molinillo, again used in Spain and in the Americas. So each kitchen has its own Molinillo and chocolate pot, so I think it'll be really fun for people to go through the exhibit and see, oh, there's another one, like the similarities that took place.